uh, when I uh, graduated high school, I loved comic books. Comics was like something I, I really, really enjoyed. So I spent a lot of time just drawing, but everyone in my family worked for Toyota. So I, I ended up getting the prestigious job of washing cars for executives. So my job was to walk up <laughs> to the executives, uh, you know, office, talk to their assistant and say, hey, I'm here to wash their car. And uh, I'd wash the car, park it in their space and then bring their keys up to them. This one day we got super backed up. Um, I didn't have the car ready. Um, and uh, the executive was not happy and decided to walk down to our little car wash area on campus. And uh, we had a waiting room and I, I kind of left my sketchbook in that waiting room because, you know, we really didn't have anywhere to put our stuff, you know. Um, I don't think I even drove at the time. I think my parents like actually were dropping me off at work. So I don't know why, but uh, uh, she had uh, picked up my sketchbook, started flipping through it, and then um, reached out to my boss. And uh, I thought I was getting fired. You know, luckily he was like, hey, I, I have something to tell you, you know. Um, this person would like to take your sketchbook and show it to a few friends of theirs at Sony Animation, which was uh, also known as Adelaide uh, Studios uh, in Culver City. I kind of like had my life sort of plotted out for me this way. Like this was sort of a cradle to grave job, health insurance, benefits, you know, pension. So I really didn't have a huge incentive to like take this wild and crazy ride into animation, a world that I don't know what would happen, you know. I remember they, they called me in, they said, look, um, we want to uh, give you a test for storyboard revision. And I was like, well, what's storyboarding? I, I, can I know what it is first, <laughs> you know? Back then there wasn't any uh, digital yet. So it was, it was still in the era of like uh, hand-drawn and also using the, the copy machine. So I took the test, I passed, which was unbelievable. And they said, look, we're going to move you on to uh, Men in Black. And uh, you're gonna, there's a new director coming, too. And he's from the, the, series, the Batman series. And I was a huge fan of Batman in the 90s. Um, so they're like, yeah, his name is Darwin Cook. And uh, he's really amazing. And uh, if you can, try and get on, get on his team. I was a smoker at a time. And I remember uh, he was a smoker. So I smoked literally like the entire day until he showed up. And uh, we just hit it off. And I was so fortunate that he took me under his wing and pretty much showed me everything about storyboarding, uh, thumbnailing, like just the entire like mechanics of storytelling for television. Um, it, it was just unbelievable. So um, yeah, I was really fortunate to, uh, to have that. I met a ton of, ton of really incredible people. I think, uh, I think if you go through this entire career and you only have a, a body of amazing work, I feel you've lost. I think you should have a, a, a bunch of amazing friends. I think that should be your, your ultimate goal because you know the art is wonderful, the, the projects are wonderful, but it's the people that I think is the greatest thing.